Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to Reseller Toolkit. So today we are going to be reviewing these eBay Jiffy bags, padded envelopes, bubble bags, whatever you want to call them. There they are right there. They come in this nice little pack of 25 um, and I believe 25 will cost you £6.91. Also you can get them in other kind of pack sizes. So 50 of them will cost £10.21, 100 of them will cost £16.84, and then so on from there. I believe you can get them in 200, possibly even more than that as well. Now the thing is with these, they are quite expensive. These are the 16 by 22 centimeter ones, which is DVD and CD size. So these are the ones that most people are gonna be wanting to look for. But as I say, they are quite expensive. I mean, £6.91 for 25 of these envelopes isn't brilliant uh, compared with just maybe another brand like Sealed Air or Mail Light or something like that. Um, you can generally get them for a lot cheaper. So with that being said, there is a way that you can get these for cheaper or you can get these essentially for free. And that is if you have a featured or anchor store on eBay. So if you are a seller on eBay and you have either a feature or anchor store, every month you will either get a £10 packaging voucher on the featured store subscription or a £20 packaging voucher on the anchor store subscription. And therefore you can either get these for free or you can reduce the price quite severely, which is obviously a good benefit to you. So with that being said, let's get these out of the packet. This is the original packet it came in. I wanted to keep it in the packet so you would see exactly how you will unbox it yourselves or unbag it yourselves. Um, and so we'll get this open now and we'll take a closer look at one of them as well as obviously just doing a couple of little tests with a couple of items that will obviously fit in these Jiffy bags. So as you can see, here we are. One of them is out of the packaging now. And the first thing I have to note on a positive point for these is the branding. When we as eBay sellers are using secondhand packaging, possibly boxes, even possibly secondhand padded envelopes in some circumstances, it can look a little bit unprofessional, but this clear, nice eBay branding on these does give it a professional feel. And if that's what you're going for for your business, then obviously these are good in that circumstance. One negative point about these though is how flimsy they are in the uh, the actual bubble mailer here. Now that's not necessarily a huge problem because of course it is a bubble mailer. It's not necessarily um, you know reinforced with cardboard or anything like that. It doesn't brand itself in that way. It doesn't kind of um, advertise itself in that way at all. But I have seen with maybe Sealed Air, the Jiffy brand itself, uh, Mail Light as well, those Jiffy bags tend to be a little bit less flimsy than this one. And that's just going off personal experience of using various different Jiffy bags. And then obviously if you get maybe an unbranded uh, Jiffy bag or, or padded envelope, they can sometimes be a little bit flimsy as well. But the good thing with these is, I have to say, the bubble wrap inside is pretty good. Um, you know, it, it feels pretty good. It feels quite firm. I'm actually rubbing my finger against one inside here. Uh, it feels pretty firm. Some of the other brands can be a little bit weak on the bubble wrap. The other good thing about these padded envelopes that I really, really do like is the strip here. Um, it's a nice wide strip, but not only that, the glue on it seems to be really, really good. I don't know why, but it seems to be very, very strong. I've not found another padded envelope that is as strong as this glue. I, I honestly haven't a clue why that is. It must be that they just put a little bit of quality into it and obviously find a really, really good supplier of this glue to obviously use to make these. Um, and yeah, it's really, really good. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. But before that, obviously I've got a couple of props. So I thought I would just kind of do a little bit of size comparison and obviously put a couple of these in the Jiffy bag so that then you can see. So as you can see, it'll comfortably fit, fit a CD there, as you would imagine. Now, this is my only concern. As I mentioned, they are a little bit flimsy. And I would suggest, you know, if you're putting CDs and stuff in these, because they seem a little bit flimsy to me, put some uh, put some cardboard or something either side because it just seems to me like it could 
be a bit of an issue that they may break. I've never really liked putting things with plastic, with hard plastic like CDs and stuff like that inside Jiffy bags. I've always liked to put card in there with them just to make sure. It's not to say that they will break or anything. They may go through the Royal Mail system pretty easily, uh, even just like this. But it's always nice just to obviously add that added bit of protection. But you can do that if you want. You don't necessarily have to. That's completely your choice. But you can see there, a CD fits in quite nicely. So next we've got a uh, DVD here. And you can see with these DVDs, the only issue is, well, it's not really an issue because they do actually fit in, but with, say, other Jiffy bags, sometimes you'll get them a little bit wider, so that then obviously it'll go in a little bit more comfortably. If you were to get the next size up of these, it would probably be that this DVD is a little bit kind of loose in there. Um, so I'll show you what I mean now with kind of the tightness of one of these uh, DVDs in the, this Jiffy bag. So as you can see, I'll put it in here, and we might just see as it goes in what I mean by this if I just uh, fold that back there so you can see that it does fit in fairly nicely to be honest and with this one actually it's not so bad but I think I've had other DVDs where they've come up a little bit further so it can be a little bit tight but with this one actually it doesn't seem so bad so I have to take my word back on that a little bit um, with this example here but what I'm going to do is just rip this off for the purposes of this video uh, and just seal this up if I can uh, get the whip off there and then I'm just going to seal this up properly now and uh, or maybe not so properly because I'm trying to do this looking at the camera as well but I don't know whether you can see that very well there but the glue has really firmly sticked on obviously I've messed it up a bit with uh, obviously the creases and stuff in it there but this glue feels really really stuck down it really does feel good you can possibly see it better here where I've done a better job this side but it really is quite firmly stuck down obviously you're not going to be able to understand that or realize that too much on this video but if you were to get these yourself and then obviously stick one of these down you would then realize how strong this glue is it's a shame that i've not really done it brilliantly there but i can tell you that you wouldn't need any sometimes with certain jiffy bags you sometimes need a little bit of tape over them just because you don't feel they're that secure but with these ones i would actually be comfortable just sending that out like that without the tape down because i can really feel that that is a glue that's really stuck on there and it's not really going anywhere so i'll actually just try try and whip this off a little bit maybe you'll get a better idea of how strong this glue is so you can see I'm giving it some force here you see what I mean and it just it's not coming off so you can tell that that glue is really really good and that is a huge positive of these jiffy bags obviously I've kind of defaced the jiffy bag there a little bit um, but it just is a testament to how good that glue is to be honest um, so yeah that is these jiffy bags there's a couple of positive points, there's maybe one or two negative points. I tried to do a bit of a balanced review on these. Overall, I think these are quite good and I continue to use these because of having my free packaging voucher. And obviously every month when I get my free £10, um, I then obviously buy these or sometimes buy one of the eBay boxes as well, which I may do a review on in the future. But yeah, I'll continue to use these. I think they are pretty good. As I say, it might be worth in some circumstances with some items, putting a little bit of card in there just to give them a bit more added strength um, on their journey through the Royal Mail system. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'll leave this with you here. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys.